Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm, and today we're getting bees. I've got the Bee Guy Supply here with me, and uh, we decided where we were going to place it. And when he got here, I did ask him a couple questions, uh, and his big, the main facts or the big, big things to know about placing a hive is you want to place it in the correct direction, partially because you want it not exposed to uh, the westerly or northerly winds. So if you have it facing east, it's going to get sunlight first thing in the morning, which is going to shine on your entrance. It's going to wake those bees up. They're going to want to go out and forage earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. If they're in the shade somehow, they may wait till 9 or 10 o'clock to be able to come out of this hive and actually go forward. You want them out as early as possible. Now, uh, I'm sorry. Let ahead. me ask you this. So let's just say they're late risers. Mm -hmm. And so they start late. Are they going to stay out late or they're just not going to produce as much? When the sun goes down, they're done. Okay. So you're shortening their day of being able to work. Plus, they're going to okay. warm. They're going to be warmer. So on days like this morning when it was, what was it, 40 degrees this morning? Yep. They didn't want to come out. They won't want to come out of that box. Right. They're going to sit inside. But if that sun's shining, you may have some big, uh, adventurous bees come out early. Okay. Excellent. You get them going out and foraging. Okay. Uh, the other concern that I had is right behind us is our aviary. Um, and uh, we're going to be redoing that this year with chickens and pigeons and, and rabbits. And the kids are going to be responsible for taking care of them. And it's, I don't know. 18, 20 feet away, probably. probably a little bit less. And so I was concerned if they would uh, be an, an issue with the kids. And your response to that was? The other thing I like to do is keep the hive at least 10 feet away from a, uh, an area where people are gonna be walking a pathway or a structure. And if there's children involved, I like to increase that space by about another 10 feet, double it, so about 20 feet. And that way you have a good amount of area so that people aren't gonna be interfering with the bees. Because the bees are gonna come out of the hive, fly up in the air and they take off in the direction that they're going to go forage. Okay. Wonderful. So we're kind of set up where we should be. We're facing east. Yeah. There's not a lot of um, cover around us, so it's going to get plenty of sun. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of out of the way and we're close to 20. So the kids are safe-ish. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Uh, so uh, I think we're we're set up for bees, right? We are. All right. So here's another question for you. So. Here at My Shire Farm, we're really focused on trying to educate and encourage. Mm -hmm. And so the way I learn is more of a small class. You know, that's why we do the two lives a week and things like that. Yes. Do you do anything like that for your for your bee customers or just people trying to start out? Yes, um, I have every every month, the third Thursday of every month, I have a gathering at my place. Okay. Uh, we sit and talk. I try to have speakers to be able to uh, share information with them. And then also we open up hives and go through hives so people can get hands on and uh, learn some things. Okay. And also I show them the things that I'm successful at as well as my mistakes because we all make mistakes. Yep. And, and a lot of times people have other ideas that they can share with the group. The other thing I'm doing is some online courses. Okay. So on my website I'll be posting some online classes on how to place hives, how to install packages. Okay, and is that going to be like a group, like a Zoom group, or is it's it? Gonna, yeah, I'm going to start it as Zoom. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, now, where are you located? Londonderry, Ohio, which is about 10 miles east of Chillicothe. Okay. So if you're in that area, it's the third Thursday third of Thursday. every month. That's right. And all that information's on your website. Yes. Um, and then if you're not in that area, then you could do a Zoom meeting. Right. Um, and you do that. Is that going to be monthly or? Monthly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and all that will be on your website, yes. which is going to be in the description as well. All of the supplies that we've had, including the bees, have came from him. Uh, and uh, I'm just super excited about everything. Um, it seems to me, I mean, I'm no expert, but it hasn't fallen apart yet and I put it together. <laughs> so it's got to be good quality. The bees aren't going to break out. Of that's that. right. That's right. So, uh, so the next step is bees. That's right. All right, stay tuned. We'll be right back. We'll put them in now. Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm. And after a few weeks of the tutorials that you've been doing, we're getting the bees. I'm very excited about it. Uh, so you brought two different hives uh, and you wanted to explain a couple different, different, a different, a couple different differences mm -hmm. about them. So why don't you go right ahead? I brought two packages of bees. They're Italian bees. They're out of Georgia. They've only been in the boxes a few days. And so right now, they're pretty healthy. In the bottoms, when I look at 
packages. I'm going to go pick them up someplace. I like to look for a couple things. One of the things I want to look for is their activity. I want to see them moving around. And I don't want to see a lot of dead bees in the bottom of the box. So these look like they're moving really good. They're, they're feeding. They're trying to keep ventilation going through this box. They're trying to take care of the queen that's in a, in a queen cage in the center of that. And this other box on the other side, this is more typical of what you would see with bees, not on, a, not on cone. This is called bearding. So what they're doing is they're just hanging off of each other. And so the, the queen is in the middle of this cluster right here. And that's where they all want to be. All right, so one of these is one hive. That's correct. And how many is in a hive, this typically? This is three pounds, and there's somewhere around 10,000 bees in Okay. Just so many. There is so there's many. There's only one of me. I know, but uh, there's only one queen, so all you have to do is get along good with the queen, and the rest of them will there work you go. with you. Absolutely. All right, so do you have a recommendation on one? Well, I, I think they're both really nice, but we both observed that this one over here seems like it has more bees in it. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a good thing that you have, the more bees you have, the more work can get done. Right. So you're right. starting out with a stronger colony. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I guess this is my hive. I think right? that's a great choice. All right. So, uh, all right. I'm going to go get my bee suit on. Yes. And then I will be right back and you're going to walk me through how to actually install them myself. I'm gonna get my bee suit on too because it's safety first. Yeah, it, yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so I got my... What? You meant the... Uh, the, the bee suit. We'll be back. Okay. All right, everybody, we're back and I've got the right outfit on right now, right? Yes, you do. That okay, wonderful, all right. So uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, he walked me through what I'm supposed to do to install this hive. Um, and I'm actually gonna do it. And he's gonna walk us through uh, what I'm doing or correct me every time I make a mistake. So uh, before we begin, I did, there's a, a strip here. That's kind of important if you can get closer here. And uh, can you explain that before, uh, the way this before box, we begin? The way this box is put together is there's a cap over the top of this piece of plywood, this small piece. And it's covering a, a coffee can, a small can that's filled with sugar syrup. And hanging down next to that can and attached to this yellow strap is a queen cage. And inside that cage is the queen of the hive and some attendants, little bees that are running around inside that cage. So what Zach's going to do is pull this off, expose that can, pull that can out of the way, and then we'll be able to pull that queen cage out and install that in the hive and then introduce the rest of the bees into the hive. And the best way to keep track of this is either a thumbtack or a rubber band, correct? I, I like using a thumbtack because it's just easy to pull out and you'll use that thumbtack later on right. to hold that queen in place inside the hive. Okay. All right, so here we go and uh, wish us luck. <laughs> out of here that hole is not open for the bees to be able to get out. Okay. So I'm going to pull this out. There they are. Okay, let's go ahead and take the top of the hive off. I'll get this can this out okay. of the way for you. And we're always going to put the lid on the ground first so that we're not placing boxes on the ground. And we don't want to pick up any bacteria from the turf. And we're going to put these at the bottom, correct? That's correct. The bees are going into the deep box. All right. So one of the first things we're going to do is pull a couple frames out, give us a little room to be able to get these bees down in there. Sure. And then go ahead and we un unattach that. We pull that thumbtack and grab that strap. Okay. And she's stapled there. Okay. Doesn't want to 
while there, huh? This tape looks pretty good. There you go. That Got kind of it. Flew up in the air. Okay, so inside here you can see. Let's pause three seconds, have you pull it out slowly. Okay. Go ahead and do that again. Put your glove back on me. No, that's all right. All right, so. So we're going to pull one. that strap loose to release it, be able to pull that queen cage out of there. All right, so we got this. Inside this cage is a queen and some attending bees inside that screen. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop a cork out of the bottom of this to expose this candy from underneath. Cork. Go ahead. It's real small. Just go ahead and pry it out of there. There you go. Got now it. that candy is exposed and the bees can get to it. Okay. So then we're going to... What, we're going to put it in between here? That's right, in between a couple of frames. Okay. And I like to turn that screen so it's facing out this facing way. Facing out. You don't really want it up against the foundation. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Okay. And then just press the two, raise it towards the top, just like that. Okay. Press the two together. Okay. And then just thumbtack that in place right there. You got it. Okay. So your queen's in the box. That's Got where it. all the bees are going to want to go now. So there's a couple different options. One of the things I like to do is just put introduce the bees straight into the box. The other thing you can do is just tip it upside down and let them do it slowly. Okay. I'm going to put my glove on. I was brave and now I'm like, I'm going to make them mad. All right, so. so now what you can do is just tip it upside down so that the hole is facing down in this, this opening. Okay. And kind of tilt it to the side and shake them in there nice and gentle. Okay. Oh, I was being too gentle. Way and kind of do the same thing. Looking good. A bit more on that one side. Okay, I don't feel like I'm getting a lot more out. Okay. you did. <laughs> let's, put, let's go ahead and put that box back on. The box. Yeah, that, um, well, no, I'm sorry. Let's put those two frames back in. Okay. Nice and gentle so you don't squish any between those frames. There you go. Looking good. Try and push the frames together so that they're right up against each other. Okay. okay. So you're having room on one side? Yes, yeah, so a little bit more room on one side. Okay. And we'll just lean this up against the box for now. So the ones that are still in there, you're thinking it are just going to eventually come out and go into the entrance? They'll climb right in that entrance. Okay. All right. So we can put that box back on top now and close up the hive. Okay. go in here in about three days okay and make sure that that queen's released and if it is put and this on then you pull that cage out okay so I wouldn't even put that second box on it yet. okay because of that because that way you know that queen's gonna be in this bottom box so in a couple days when you go in there to get this uh -huh. then put that box on top that second box on top okay so we can do is just introduce that feeder into the side on that side got it okay, okay. Now, 
again, I mean, that's what we'll do. Why would it be, because you're wanting space there, right? So why couldn't I push this one all the way over and put this thumbtack on the side here? You could. You want to try that? Let's I do that. I was Let's, just wondering. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's try okay. it. I, I always like new ideas. So we can pull that out of there and do that. Here, I'll hold it. You can move it. Okay. I mean, I don't know if this would work. Sure, why not? And then you put the thing to the right on it. Right. Which way this goes? No. Okay. Excellent. Now we're wanting to feed them, so I'm going to want to check on them in about three days to make sure the, the queen is out. That's correct. Okay. If she's not out, then it's a good idea to take a nail and possibly poke a hole. So that she can get out? No, poke, just poke a hole in that fondant. Okay. Just to give them some air going back and forth. It'll kind of give them a start. Okay. All right. I'm okay. going to give it about another two days. And after that, if she's not out by then, you can just release her. Okay. She's been in there five days by that point. Okay. Um, and in that five days, so I'll check in two days and then check back in five but in about five days, I'll need to replace this, correct? I would refill that. All so right, what so we're going to do is make sure we keep this hive fed because the bees don't have anything in there to eat. Right. So we're going to add simple syrup, syrup, one to one sugar water. And we're just going to use a funnel. Zach's already got some syrup mixed up. My wife was kind enough to make this morning. And you're saying check on this about once a week. Yeah, about once a week. And then, uh, while I'm doing this, if you want to pull that white one out, or I don't know if you can. Yeah, I can. And you're saying, um, clean those out once a week. Yeah, about once a week, take a look and make sure that these holes are clear, so that the syrup is good, the bees are able to access the syrup through these holes, because they will seal these up over time. It's simple enough, you don't have to pull them all the way out, but it's simple enough to just pull them part way out, take a look at them, and then shove them back in. Okay. This is a perfect day to install this package. What is it, about 65 degrees today? Yeah, it's very nice out. I wish yesterday was this nice out. I was freezing. Unseasonably warm for this time of year. Don't worry, it'll change. Now, how long have you been raising bees? Um, I've been doing this for 12 years. Okay. Oops. Oops. They'll get that. They'll clean that up. See, they're already drinking. Yeah. And you feed them all year long, pretty much? I feed them when there's not a nectar flow. Okay. So once they start to slow down, they, they're not bringing enough pollen in or enough nectar, I give them a boost of, of food. Okay. And how do you know that? Um, I'm picking up the box once in a while, makes, making sure that it's got some weight, it's increasing in weight. And when I pull the frames out, I'm looking at them adding. So every time I open up the box, I'm checking to see how productive they're being, how much food they've stored, how much pollen they've stored, and I make note of it. So this week I see four frames are filled with pollen and three frames are, frames are filled with honey. I'm good, but then a week or two from now I want to go back and I want to see an increase. And if I don't see an increase, I may need to start feeding. All right, so if I would just do this once a week and just feed them, mm -hmm. is that going to let, is that going to lower the production because no. they have something here? No. 
Okay. It should not. But what you're doing is you're giving them a boost of energy so that they can build out the cone. Because right now, uh -huh. there you're going to use a bunch of energy to build the cone out on these frames. Correct. And once they've built the, the cone out and they start to then gather pollen and nectar and bring it back to the hive and fill those cells up, mm -hmm. you're going to see this hive getting heavier and heavier and they're going to start using more and more of the frames. Okay. Once they get to the point where they've used about seven frames in each one of these boxes, it's either time to add a box or pull something out of it. So sometimes you can pull honey out to create space. Okay. Sometimes you just need to add more space for the bees to have, depending okay. on the time of the year. Okay. Now, okay, so we bought all of these supplies from thebeeguysupply.com. It'll be in the description. Make sure you check that out. Uh, but once we ordered this, this was the original order. Um, I contacted you and said, hey, I've decided that I do want the queen bee excluder, mm -hmm. uh, which is the metal piece that's right in between here. It keeps the queen bee in the, uh, in the deep. And then I asked for a second deep. And you sent me that. And you're saying that I should put that on about midsummer or once there's seven... Seven frames seven filled. Seven frames filled. That's right. Okay. And that's going to help them during the winter, is that correct? Yeah, you're going to give them more space to store food to help them get, stay strong and be fed through the winter. Okay. All right. So we're pretty much done, right? Yeah, the bees are in the package. The package is in the beehive. You're going to check this hive in about two, three days, make sure the queen's emerged. Okay. If she is not, then you're going to poke a hole in that fondant. Yep. Give them a little bit better access and then check in a couple more days. And if she's not released by then, then you just cut cut the fondant out and just let her and make sure that she goes in the hive. Right. Because, sure. So make sure that she's right. You're right down here next to the frame when you release her so that she goes down into the hive because she will fly. Okay. 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 Well, she's been stuck in there for a few days. So. <laughs> All right. Well, that sounds great. And then, uh, and then what? I check it about once a week and make oh. sure that they've got once every week or two weeks, get in there and just check on it, pull the frames out, and we'll, we'll talk some more about what to look for right. on the frames. And this might be a newbie question, but you know, you're saying that you're checking the hives weekly mm -hmm. uh, and looking at production. Yes. When am I going to, when do I need to start looking at production? In about a month, you're going to have a bunch of nectar flow. Okay. And okay. you're going to want to make sure that they're filling those frames up. Just glance at it. So when you open this hive the first time, you're going to look for a couple things. You're going to look and see how well she's laying eggs. Okay. You're going to see what kind of stores she's got, whether mm -hmm. it be pollen or nectar. Okay. And see, and, and they're not going to cap it off right away, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. You're just going to see shiny uh, bits of honey in there, in those cups. They'll seal them up when they get it, the humidity of that honey down to the point where they want, then they're going to seal them, cap it off. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I love the bees. They are Italians. They are correct? Italian bees. That's okay. correct. Uh, from Georgia. From Georgia. All right. And then you picked them up. They've only been in the box for what? Two days? Three days, probably. Three days. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, seems like it's a huge hive. I'm, I mean, I have no judgment. I don't they, know. They look healthy. I don't see a lot of dead bees in the box, which is great. Yeah. So I'm very excited. I will keep checking on it. We'll keep doing videos. And hopefully before you leave, maybe we can do a Q&A okay. uh, about newbie questions. And uh, stay tuned. And make sure you watch his YouTube channel and subscribe because he's going to continue videos on this. Uh, so thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you having us. All right. We'll see you guys.